Hi everyone. In this video I'm going to talk about how we can add some decorative page numbering on PDF documents. They can be PDF forms or any kind of a PDF file that you have where you want to add page numbers and you want to have some kind of decorative element along with that page number. If you take a look at the file I have open on screen here, you see in the center down at the bottom I've got this stamp and it's just a graphic appearing only on the first page and as I go through this is a four page document you can see I don't have anything on these other pages I'll go back to the beginning here now I'm just gonna click the button I'll, I'll mention what these buttons are a little bit later but I'm gonna click this button and you'll notice that now I've got a number here and as I go through my document you can see that I've added the icon and the field number along with it. So I'm going to delete all of this and I'll uh, take a look at a file I have here. To begin with, what we need to do is take a look at how you want to create or the designs that you want to have for the decorative page numbers. And you can see a variety that I've just created here and each one of these have been converted to stamps so if I get my stamp tool here you can see that when I open my stamps menu and I choose the set that has all of these icons these are all the individual stamps that have been created from these variety of different kinds of designs let's go back over to the document you can think of this as a file that's like a toolbox for you and I am uploading this to my server. The URL link will be posted in the description for this video. And let me go through and explain what these buttons do. The first thing that you have to do to create a number and an icon on each page is to first create a PDF stamp. So I'll go into my stamps menu here and I'll go to stamp and let's... Uh, Let's go to, oh, we'll take this circle foot over here. And then, if I want to, I can size this. And this is a little large right now, so let me bring it down a little bit. And I'll leave it a little exaggerated here just to show you in this uh, sample here. You'll notice that now, after I create a stamp, then the thing I want to do is stamp all pages. And I can do that by clicking this button here. In addition to stamping the pages, I need to have page numbers. And this is a button that will add page numbers. I can click on this button, which will add not only a stamp but the page number associated with it so when I click this button you can see that this is exactly what I showed you before each one of these pages are now identified with both the graphic and the page number on the right over here I have delete annotations I have delete page numbers and I have delete both so if I go to delete annotations, you can see the page number remains on each one of these pages and the annotations are eliminated. If I go to delete page numbers, then it takes that page numbering off of all pages, as you can see each one of these pages here. This is delete both. And I have a button here that if I click this, it's going to delete all of these buttons, like so. Now I'm going to revert my file so I show you back at the beginning. Let's go to revert. So I come back to my original. I also have a field over here, and this field has transparency for both the border color and the fill color and I'll explain why that's uh, designed like that. So let's take a look at how we might use this toolbox on a PDF document where I want to add pages. I'm going to 
take uh, first of all we'll take a look at the document we want to uh, apply these page numbers to I'll click on a document I have open here here is an employee manual and there's no page numbers on this manual you can see at the bottom or the top there's no page numbers now we can use one of Acrobat's built-in features for adding uh, headers and footers and adding page numbers but what we really want to do is add a graphic element along with it so we're going to use my uh, toolbox to do that typically if you have a document like this you don't want the page numbering to begin on the first page the first page is like a cover page so I'm going to go over here this is where I want to start my page numbering now what I do is go over to this file once again, the one I have uploaded to my server. I'm going to click on my prepare form button over here, and then I'm going to simply select all of my fields, and I'll go to my edit menu and choose copy. You can also right click, open a context menu, and choose copy from that menu. Then I'm going to come over to my manual, and I'm simply going to paste those fields into this document. So I'll go to edit, to paste and you can see that they're scrambled around here that's okay we'll uh, go ahead and go to prepare form and uh, I want to bring this one down just do a little bit of housekeeping maybe take these and move them over just a little bit cleaner into a naked area here and then we'll go to preview and you can see that I have my fields here copied and pasted into this document. Now, the first thing I need to do, once again, is to create a stamp. So I'll go over to my stamps menu, and I'm going to go to the category where I have my icons. And for this one, I'm going to choose Anchor. This is a marine company that has an employee manual, and I've got a little graphic here. And I'm going to bring this graphic into the right lower right corner. And I might come in and let's um, size that down a little bit. Like so. Okay. The first thing I have to do is always to create the stamp first. Now I'm going to choose one of these buttons. I can choose my Add Stamps and Fields. Notice that I'm on page 2, right after my cover page. So the JavaScript that's contained in these buttons is going to begin on page 2 and it's going to avoid the cover page. So that's why you need to go directly to the page where you want to begin your page numbering. I'll click on Add Stamps and Fields and you can see that that field is just a little bit larger than I want. Now what I can do is, I've got the stamps on each one of the pages, as you can see here. Okay, so I don't need to delete the stamps, but what I do want to do is delete the fields. So I'm going to go to Delete Page Numbers. My stamps remain, as you can see here. Okay, and what I want to do is maybe bring that down a little bit lower. Now, there's just a couple of items that you have to look at editing on the JavaScripts in these buttons. The rest of it is just copy, paste, and click the buttons. But to change the font size, I need to go into the JavaScript, and I'm going to use the one that is going to be fields only, so that'll be this one here. I'm going to double click on it, go to my actions, go to JavaScript, click on edit, and you can see that here is the script that contains all the attributes defined for the page number. I have the font size, the color, the font, and whether it has a border or not. All of those items are specified here and they should be self-explanatory. So the first thing I want to do is change text size. And I'm going to make that from a 9 point. I'm going to take it down to 6 point. You can see that I also have color black. Now, if I had 
something where I wanted to use reverse uh, type, I might want the type to be white, so I would say color white. You can also go color red, color yellow, color green, any color that you want for the color of the text. I can also use Helvetica, Times, or Courier. So I would recommend that you use one of those fonts as their standard Acrobat fonts, and every PDF user will be able to use those. So I'll just leave it at a six point, click OK, and then I'm going to go, I'll close this, and now we want to go back over to our preview, and we want to add fields to the pages. And there we go. You can see that if I zoom in on this, you can see that I have very nicely, I've got my page number down here in the lower portion of my document. And it's uh, very clean, very easy. Now at this point, what I'm going to do is take a look at the buttons down here at the bottom. The very first thing I'm going to do is go to my prepare form button and look at my fields. I'm going to delete this field of flattened document. Now the reason I do that is because if I flatten the document, the page numbers are going to disappear. They're going to hide behind the annotations. So in order to prevent that, I'm going to not flatten the document as it is. As we create fields on the page, the fields are set to read only so they won't be accessible by the end user unless they go into an edit mode in Acrobat and then access the fields that way. The annotations are going to remain. Now, if you really need to flatten the annotations, you can go into the print production tools, go to pre-flight, and then you can flatten the annotations in that dialog box, as I explained in an earlier video. However, at this point, we'll just leave it like it is. I'll go back to preview, and then the next thing I want to do is delete my buttons here. And I have a button that's going to actually delete all the buttons, including the delete button. I'll click on that. They disappear. And now I've got my page numbering and my icon appearing on all pages just like I want it. And, of course, not on the cover page. So that really takes care of it. It's a very simple set of JavaScript. You don't have to worry about editing the JavaScript with the exception of just the size of the font or the font color or perhaps the font itself. But other than that, you can use those scripts just as they are. This uh, document is one that you should maybe keep on your computer and consider it like a toolbox so that you can copy and paste these fields into any document where you want to add a graphic element along with a page number. Now to create these icons you can use programs like Adobe Photoshop, Adobe Photoshop Elements, uh, Canva, GIMP. You can use vector illustration programs like Adobe Illustrator or CorelDRAW. Any program that you use to create graphic images and then you can set up your stamps accordingly by going to the stamps menu and then go to create stamp and follow the steps I outlined in one of my earlier uploads to my YouTube channel. So that pretty much handles it. I hope this file will be of help to you. Keep it around and use it as uh, you may need to add page numbers along with decorative elements. And uh, I hope this works for you. So once again, this is Ted Padova wishing you all the very best in all your Acrobat activity. Until next time.